Welcome to this channel. Uh, in these videos, we are going to talk about political issues, especially the subject of Catalonia, from the point of view which is from left-wing and pro-independence of Catalonia movement. Uh, I think that it's going to be interesting because in English there is not so many information from this side. And today I think that it's good, it could be interesting to talk about an experience that I had that it uh, can show us a little bit how the mass media work. Uh, I'm a filmmaker, I make documentaries and I made a documentary on the Western Sahara Liberation Movement. This documentary was selected uh, by a film festival in Tokyo, in Japan, and I was very happy. Um, they said uh, they will go, uh, they will screen the 14th, 17th and 19th of March uh, 2020. And I said, okay, that's fine for me. But when we were approaching to these dates, uh, the coronavirus uh, issue was going on. Um, we can remember that the day before the first screening in Japan, here in Spain, we had the state of alarm. Uh, the government said we are in a state of alarm and this was because the previous days the situation was uh, worse and worse every day so everybody was very shocked everybody was in fear everybody was at, at the home and all the events uh, were suspended because of the uh, coronavirus so I thought it will happen the same in Japan. They will suspend the, the, the screening, but they didn't. And the room was full of people, 125 people in the room. So I didn't understand. Uh, I couldn't understand. Then I said, okay, maybe the days uh, after it, the situation will go uh, worse and worse. Uh, but no, they didn't suspend the second uh, screening and it was full of people, 75 people in the room. In a, uh, and then in another room, they made the third uh, screening and it was full of people as well, 70 people. Really, I didn't understand because uh, what we were living here in Barcelona, in Spain. It, was, it seemed to be very different from what was uh, the Japanese people thinking. But here, uh, when the state of alarm was, uh, was uh, announced, there was 120 people that had died because of coronavirus. In Japan, it was 21. And I know that Japanese people, they are very concerned on hygienic and health uh, issues. So I didn't understand uh, this difference. So I thought that it had to be uh, that the information that we were receiving, it was different. So I tried to understand what was happening in Japan and here in Spain with the uh, media. Okay, let's remember that at the beginning they said that the coronavirus was something like a flu. It was not so important and only dangerous for old people and people with other illnesses. Uh, this was the situation we had at that time. Um, so, uh, but there was an inform. So this was what the media said, but there was an information that came in the 3rd of March, a newspaper from Switzerland, La Tribune de Genève, they published an information that the uh, Swiss, uh, uh, the Swiss uh, uh, courts were investigating uh, the former uh, king of Spain because he, has, uh, he had an account in a Swiss bank and this account was hidden from the taxes uh, from Spain and there was 100 million euros and they are supposed from a commission that the, the former king received from the monarchy of Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, they wanted to build a net of uh, fast trains. This was uh, made by an, a Spanish enterprise and it seems to be that the Spanish king was there uh, make, doing this relation. So this was uh, to thank him, something like this. No? So this information arrived to Spain and we were claiming, oh, we want the uh, justice and the government to investigate whether this is true or not. But they said that uh, they could not investigate that because the Spanish constitution, they, it protects the king of Spain and what, they, what he does. So if the king of Spain, he committed a crime, 
we cannot investigate because uh, he's the king of Spain. So we were not happy. And then maybe it happened something uh, with the media. And I'm going to tell you and let's see if it can be. I think that the media, which are uh, in favor of the monarchy, in general, all media in Spain are in favor of the monarchy. So the media wanted to uh, diminish a little bit the intensity of this information. So they had to put some information on it. And they took something that was in the reality and was uh, getting uh, more important day by day. But at that time, it was not so important. It was the coronavirus. So they start talking about it and saying that uh, it was coming a uh, real, uh, a, a really difficult situation. So everybody was like, oh, uh, I think that this uh, was what, what happened. And uh, but then the 14th of March, uh, there was another information that came from another newspaper in England, uh, The Telegraph. And they said that the actual king of Spain uh, was going to receive uh, the, this money from the former king. And uh, okay, so now it was not only the former king involved, but also the uh, actual king that might know this situation. Uh, it, it was possible. So uh, two days later or something like this, the uh, king, the actual king of Spain, he said, okay, I will, uh, I will reject this money from my father and I will take him the money that uh, every year the state of Spain they gave to, uh, they gave to the, to the, they give to the um, uh, former king. So he, he was assuming that his father had done something not good. So he was assuming that it was true. And uh, maybe he knew before, but he did uh, that uh, when he when it was uh, public, this information. OK, so the media, they say, OK, the king uh, has done very well. He's uh, clean, not like uh, not getting dirty with the, the business of his father. And they keep on uh, talking about the coronavirus. So everybody was very, very concerned about the danger of coronavirus when the first projection came in Japan. But in Japan, there was uh, uh, there was happening something dif uh, very different, uh, maybe very different because otherwise it's not uh, you cannot understand that. No. OK, what happened in Japan? In Japan, they wanted to celebrate the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. These Olympic Games were very important for Japan in the uh, sportive level, in the economic level, but also in the symbolic level, because we have to see that uh, Japan wanted to use these Olympic Games to say uh, the problem we had with uh, radioactivity, with the uh, accident in the power plant of Fukushima, uh, it's over. Uh, and also they wanted to emphasize this by bringing the flame with a sportman that would come from the nuclear plant of Fukushima and it would come to the uh, Tokyo to make the inauguration. So imagine the importance of these uh, Olympic Games. So they didn't want to postpone the Olympic Games. They want to do it. And uh, for this reason, they have to have the population of Japan not thinking that the coronavirus is such an important issue that we should uh, suspend the, the Olympic Games. So the media in Japan, they were talking about different uh, informations, not only coronavirus. And they said, OK, if you use mask and you keep the distance, it will not be so dangerous. So the population was really more relaxed than we were here in Spain. And that's why they uh, accepted uh, that the screening was going on and they went to the screening and no problem. Uh, later, in the 24th of March, they had to accept uh, and postpone the Olympic Games. But uh, when the when the screenings, uh, this was the situation. In this case, we see very different approach uh, in Japan and Spain because we have uh, opposite opposite uh, state uh, interest. Uh, we have to know that the media, they work with the reality. They use the information, but they don't tell the whole reality. They select some information that they think it might be interesting for the public. Also, there is the ideology of the media and maybe sometimes the, all the media in one country, they, uh, 
they uh, act in the way to protect the interest of the state. So in this case, it was so obvious, but this is happening all the time. So we have to have very in mind this, uh, this information that the media, they don't talk about the reality. It's just an image of the reality, but it's not the real reality. Uh, okay, I think and I hope that this uh, information was interesting for you. So if this is the case, we will see in the next video. Bye bye.